We started uh, the first show on April, April 1st, Washington State. And here we are now, uh, May 20th. Uh, 20 shows, and we have two more to go. I've come here four times now. Uh, we, we came in 2007, 2008, 2009 for the Proud Power, and now 2011. Uh, well, uh, it, you have a, a certain similar reaction when it's the first time playing mm -hmm. certain cities. Uh, and most of it is like uh, first song, the crowd wants to check you out, mm -hmm. kind of approval thing. And the second song, they're more into it. By the end of the show, they're with us having fun. Yeah. And that's great, that's great. Uh, in Brazil, the crowd is more energetic, because I don't know why. Mm -hmm. uh, but somehow they they want to express more themselves. I think because Europe and uh, US have m much more shows all the time shows, mm -hmm. uh, the crowd is more used to. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, in general, it's it's great. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, every night has been amazing everywhere we play. Great, it's an honor to be here and play with the FO. You're a legend. Mm. And for us, it's been a great experience to be here. And, and uh, we have to thank them to, for having us. They are great guys, mm. very humble. Yeah. And for us, it's been a great time. Uh, it couldn't be better. <laughs> and, and especially before mm -hmm. we knew that we would come and tour with them, mm -hmm. uh, I was telling to all my friends in Brazil, and uh, one in particular, he had a book about a, this American journalist, and she was saying uh, that ACDC, before they broke up huge, mm -hmm. they actually supported directly UFO. So for us, it's, you know, it's a big fever, and, and it's been amazing. The guys and the crew are great guys. Mm -hmm. When they can, they help us out in any way they can, make us, mm -hmm. make us feel comfortable, give us space in any way they can. It's been great. Yeah, yeah. We never took it like uh, it mm -hmm. would be easy, you mm -hmm. know. Since we, we recorded the first record, we wanted to go professional, do things the right way, the proper mm -hmm. way. And there is a, a certain way that you have to do. You don't just go out and try to do stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it just don't don't work like that. You have to know people. Have to be there, play for nobody a thousand times before someone calls you back. And uh, yeah, I mean, we have a uh, eight years, almost eight years now as a band. Um, we have four records out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not too much uh, longevity yet, but I would say that it's very intense for right. what has been done. Sure. And it's a hard work. You have to go step by step. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's like uh, different places. Like in Brazil, we work very hard there and we grow big there. And mm -hmm. now we have to start here mm -hmm. as we did in Brazil. So it's step by step. It's like uh, very, very hard, but we're getting there. Great, Lance, mm -hmm. uh, the owner of Nightmare Records, a great guy. Mm -hmm. We know him for maybe like five years now, and we work with him in another capacity sometime some years ago. Mm -hmm. And now we are inside his label. He's been helping us a lot, and we only have to thank him. He's a great guy, mm -hmm. and he's supporting us, and everything's come together now for mm -hmm. us. You may live on proud of it mm. and we have songs that uh, I I love like Break Me Out and, and mm -hmm. we are very proud of those th songs because we did um, different from Destructive Device that we did uh, with a huge producer mm -hmm. Ben Gross and and now we walk with our own legs and Rodrigo produced most of the songs of mm -hmm. this new album and I mm -hmm. have to thank them to, to mm -hmm. let me doing that I think it's now lost 
in time. <laughs> that I, I remember we were uh, thinking about the name, mm -hmm. and we had a song that was called When Mind Flows. Mm -hmm. And when Danilo came in, into the band, mm -hmm. uh, we were an instrumental band before, and then Danilo came and we decided to change the name. And we had that, that song, When Mind Flows, and then we decided to cut the When Mind, uh, When, and we choose Mind Flow. I think mm -hmm. it describes very well uh, how our music is. We like to, to flow things. We don't. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to be attached to something. We all do. Uh, mm -hmm. Depending, uh, sometimes uh, any one of us would come. Uh, we we got this song. We mm -hmm. will do the song and, and then oh, I feel like we could talk about this in the song. Would you, you guys let me write this one? Mm -hmm. And uh, so all of us are right. And even when it's written, mm -hmm. uh, we sit together and discuss it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we share it. Nobody noticed that before, at uh -huh. least in an interview. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Danilo has to go through it. It's, uh, no, oh, this word is hard to sing. Yeah. This is particularly mm. of, of our band. Rafael and Rodrigo mm. are the ones that uh, write the most. Most of the songs are written by them. Mm -hmm. Lyric-wise, could be, yeah. But we all, you know, put the little dots in the eyes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's a song, for instance, uh, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the record called Crisis Effects, mm -hmm. which was written um, to like an homage to the earthquake in Haiti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in January last year. Mm -hmm. So we wrote about that. Uh, uh, the first song uh, that we written for that record first into this game uh, in Brazil, we had a lot of uh, corruption. Politics going on, and mm -hmm. we decided just to put the spotlight on that. So uh, it could be a, uh, an event happening worldwide. It could be something personal. Uh, there's no like rules, but we always discuss. Uh, yeah, we're planning to do that. Uh, we have a lot of footage. And mm -hmm. we have a show that we did at Prague Power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, oh, yes, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna do the the live show and mm -hmm. all the footage that we we had uh, on those tours and trips on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It will be like a uh, three, four years in the road with my flow. Yeah, we toured with them in Brazil uh -huh. last year, a couple of years, uh, the last two years. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. great guys. But we did with uh, Derek singing and Gian on the drums, mm -hmm. uh, the new formation. That's all we do in Brazil. Mm -hmm. We have our office, mm -hmm. uh, so that's where the whole mind flow world goes on, the mm -hmm. business, uh, plans. So we kind of needed that. Mm -hmm. When we decided to go uh, to do that for the, our careers, uh, we had all this studio to rehearse, but you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you, you need to be on a table, your computers, internet, right. and so Monday to Friday we have business hours actually, oh, we, go okay. there. we have other people working with us, mm -hmm. uh, four more people working in Brazil with us, mm -hmm. and if we're not there we are rehearsing, mm -hmm. if we're not in those two we are touring, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brother once asked me before we start doing all this craziness, uh, don't you think you'd rather have a plan B if something doesn't work out? Well, but if I have a plan B, I don't go 100% in the plan A, so yeah. right. I take all my chances. <laughs> and here we are, Chicago, House of Blues. Yeah. Uh, I think we're too much. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be more uh, sloppy, maybe. Yeah, yeah, and that's I, I handle that part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes we are at the office and we have to go to practice and 
oh I can't go because I'm, I'm stuck with all that papers paperwork mm -hmm. and it's and when we started that we decided to have an office we sat down and discussed what the hell are you gonna do in the office we don't have anything to do <laughs> right. and now we, we can't get out of there yeah. <laughs> And actually, in Brazil, mm -hmm. every Wednesday, mm -hmm. three and thirty Brazilian time, mm -hmm. we have a weekly chat live with the oh. fans. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, every Wednesday, mm -hmm. more people comes and questions from uh -huh. all over, and it's really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Even though great. you're talking to the computer screen, but you know, someone's watching. Uh -huh. and Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next two years, I'd like to be here twice more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just keep working, keep showing up, work to the crowd because I, we have a feeling that every night the crowd is embracing us, no matter where we play. So, you know, I, I have no complaints. Mm -hmm. It's uh, where would you see yourselves in two years? Uh, we have many dreams, and we are very. Uh, actually, I was on Twitter. Mm -hmm. just before the show and I was uh, sharing that thought with uh, our fans because when we started that uh, mind flow it was a big dream to play live and first it was a dream to play in a bar and then it was a dream to play in a bigger venue and it was a dream to go uh, international and, and now here we are so now it's time to dream bigger Break it. 